Good evening, Tyler. This is um, Sylvia Delgado. I'm just responding to your post, um, 4M2. Um, your case particularly um, made me think a lot, um, being that I will be working, hopefully, as a school counselor one day and working with underage kids. Um, I will probably come across cases like this um, or situations like this where I will probably be wondering what is the right thing to do. Um, I was able to look at a, uh, an article, Ethical Standards for School Counselors, um, the School Counselor Volume 40, Number 2, of November 1992. And in there, I found um, <clears throat> a statement that says, a counselor must make appropriate referrals when professional assistance can no longer be adequately provided to the counselee. Appropriate referral requires knowledge of available resources. In this case, maybe not referring the, the client directly to someone else, but asking for professional assistance where there is specialty in substance abuse. Um, in your case, I'm not sure if the counselor did have that specialty and decided to go about and do this, but um, just feeling that maybe the counselor at that point should have gotten parental permission. We don't know that either. I don't know that either. But I'm guessing there was no parental permission and there was no client permission either since you stated that the client was or felt uncomfortable in this case. I just think that when we don't have that sort of specialization or specialty and when, a, when something comes up, um, <clears throat> I think that we are able to, to talk to someone that does specialize in that, of course, um, allowing our clients to know that we, were gonna, we are going to get that, that kind of help elsewhere for them you know letting them know that um that letting them know about this without going behind their back um i think as a parent i felt really uncomfortable with this case knowing that a counselor took uh an underage person um somewhere <laughs> without my with a without parental permission and just took them anywhere if i were to take if i were to send my son or daughter to counseling I don't think that I would feel comfortable with a counselor taking them anywhere. Again, I'm just learning like you about everything, all the laws and all the ethical situations that we could possibly get caught up in. So I can't tell you the correct answer to this. I would be very interested in learning about the correct answer um, since it's something that I will be working with. Again, thank you very much for your post, Tyler. Have a good day.